Welcome back to Beard and Beard Gaming, my friends. This is your friend James, and guys, I think we've done it. I think we are finally reaching the end of Silvio. As you can see, it's 6 a.m. in the game. The sun is coming up, which means we have survived the night, and there's still hope for us. And there's a bottle of Smash Hits IPA from uh, Magic Hat. That's single malt and single hop IPA. I've had it before. It has a very simple flavor. It's uh, like most IPAs has a touch of bitterness, but for the most part, uh, I don't know. Maybe that single malt and single hop gives a very non-complex flavor. There's not a lot going on past that usual IPA bitterness. So, as you can see, I have reached the top. And my friends, I have good news. I actually, because I had the feeling I was getting to the end of the game, I went back. I listened to all the recordings, I uh, listened to all the Bobby's reels, and I have a slightly better idea as to what's going on. So we have reached the top of the park, where I believe we are reaching the headquarters of uh, Saganawa. Now, this place apparently was taken over by a cult uh, after a giant landslide destroyed the park. Um, and the place was covered in a red mist, which I now believe is the evidence of Silvio, just like, uh, it was reminiscent of the Silent Hill games, how, uh, foggy Silent Hill was how, what was it, Alyssa? God, it's been so long. I think Alyssa, Alyssa, maybe, Alicia, Felicia, I don't know. Anyways, the crimson mist that covered the place was, uh, Silvio's presence and um saganawa had a pesticide company which they started uh bottling this mist uh and selling it as the pesticide and there's still people that lived there but the cult was picking off people who knew too much uh bobby was one of the head disciples of this cult who eventually was killed after he tried to save a girl. What is that? Oh, look! I thank God for dyslexia. Saginawa Pesticide Company. This is it. This is the, the main headquarters of the place. But how do I get in? Hello? Hi. Me and my dogs would like to get in very much, please. Thank you. Um, okay, so we're just going to go around and peep in the windows until we can figure out something to do, until my dogs shut up. But, uh, you know, as most of you know, if you've made it this far, I've been struggling with this game and keeping up. The story is very involved, but when you really have it all laid out, when you reach the end of the game and you can hear the story... It is interesting. I mean, I still don't know what Silvio is. Hello? Hi? Can I... Broken window? Can I come in? Ooh, rocks. Rocks, rocks. Got so many rocks. Eh. Oh. Man, she must be really thin. Look at that. She just squeezed through that. She didn't cut herself or anything. Hi. Ow. God. <laughs> I got glitched by the door. So now what? Anyways, it's really interesting to finally see the story come together, to realize that it hasn't just been a bunch of random events. There have been some weird things going on. Hi. Um, though I really still can't help but wonder, am I going to get to see Silvio? Oh no, I've been there. I almost jumped down, but... Oh, there's like a helipad up here. Can I fly away? Can I fly far, far away from this place? Um, okay. Here, I'm going to do this other trick. I'm going to be honest with you people. I started to film this yesterday and too drunk. I hate to say it, too drunk to film. <laughs> it was a very sloppy mess. And I actually first shot that thing from the window, uh, thinking that would get me in, but it doesn't. You still have to, like, squeeze through the glass, which 
doesn't make sense. Like I said, that, that's crazy. But then I got lost, and I was just kind of like wandering around in here, uh, semi-passing out on the microphone, and I said, you know, nobody needs to see this. Oh, snap. There's a hatch being watched by a camera. Is this... Uh, I can't open it? Is that what they've been talking about? They keep saying, like, oh, Silvio, he's down the hatch. He's in the tunnel. Is this it? Um... I don't know. Alright, let's go. Is this the same room? Ooh, no. Okay, good. We are somewhere else, and there's plenty of things to finger. Ah, I was thinking I, I've had a weird, funky smell going on. Well, look at all this. I thought I'd seen the last of these. Alright. Uh-huh. Good thing I didn't stop being awesome at this. Good thing there's nothing in that locker. Is there anything in this locker? A foot? A foot locker? Is, is that place still in business? I don't know. I, I've never... I never go there. Oh, sorry. It's making some weird Donald Duck noise. Oh, sh stop! What happened? I was so talented at this. Oh, that's why, because it's a fast one. Toilet paper? Oh, no, note. Uh, hi, can I... Thank you. Hi, Lucy. I'm sorry I had to end this way. Please believe me when I say my hands are tied. Literally. They have me in the trunk of the car right now. Oh. Front entrance is shut tight, so please leave through the supply entrance. The combination is 14241. Ooh, there's a keypad in the other room. Um, I wonder what the showers are for. Like I said, I re-listened to all of uh, the Bobby's reels. Is, am I... Am I holding them? Okay, cool. My microphone's not showing up. <laughs> on screen, but that's okay. I can still figure this out. Hi. No? Alright, let's go back to the other thing. I'm hoping there's no black orbs, because they haven't given me, like, any ammo. But... To be honest with you, I'm finally having that creeping feeling of dread after, like, what, like 20 episodes or so of just getting confusion and uh, annoyance. I think we're finally getting somewhere at the end of the game. Oh, yes. Hi, computer. Computer. Uh, I got a number two. I don't know what... Oh, no. Don't let me back out here. I, I don't know what to do out here. Is there someplace else that I can, like, shoot through? Just look through everything. I can't... No, the glass is reinforced, I guess, and I can't shoot my way out. So what good does that do me? Oh, hey. Oop. Ah, hi. What are... Hi. What are you? Why are you making weird noises? Is there any way in here? Oh, what? Oh, apparently I can do something to that. Can I glitch do it? Can I cheat? Eh, eh, no. Cheaters never win, kids. Especially not when it's me. So what do I do with this thing? I have a number two pencil. I see more computers. Okay. I wonder if this is where the cult slept and dreamed their culty dreams. I'm really hoping I can... I can bring an end to all this. Like I said, she was just here to test EVP equipment. And here we are solving some mass cultery. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm going to make it one. Hey, is that a recording device? Are there any other windows I can just kind of teleport to? That's a very sexy couch. I'd like to sit on that. After spending an entire game of fingering things. Okay. So, what good does this do me? It allows me up here. Oh, maybe we have to go... Is that the elevator over there? Yes. 
so I have a piece of paper with a number two on it. And very little else. Give me back that rock. That's mine. You can't have that. So what am I... Uh, what am I supposed to do? I am... Very confused. I would very much like to be able to enter another one of these places. Is there something else? Through the underground there? Um, we've been up there already, so we might as well just send that back up. What about in here? Can I put this number two thing to work for me? Let's look at it again. Look at it. Does that tell you anything? No? Good. Alright. I was worried for a second I was the only idiot in the room, but as long as you're here with me, I feel much smarter. Much better. God, I was so psyched <laughs> about playing this. I mean, I sat there for like 15 minutes listening to all the reels, listening to the seances I, I had found. Can I turn on the showers? What's with this door? Why... Why are you not letting me through? I, if there's any window in here, I could probably figure out what is blocking that door. It's got to be something like a chair. So, we're on the first floor. Let's go around, peep through some windows like the dirty perverts we all are. Don't, don't exclude yourself. You know you're one of us. And uh, see if there's a chair or something that we have to knock out. Okay. So it's going to be off to the left side. There's like a whole other part of the complex, and I don't see any way inside. If I have a gun that shoots rocks, can't I just shoot out another window? Okay. Come on, James. Use that brain power. You're so very smart. We're going to figure this out any second now. And I can't, I can't maybe blow this thing up. Can I crawl under the desk and just hide? I think I've circled this thing like three times. Because <laughs> I can't... I can't do anything with the showers. What was that? <gasps> You're an idiot! You're an idiot, James! Look at that! <laughs> You've been wandering right by that thing, I don't know how many times. I have no idea what it did. Or what it do. Or what it do, shawty. But... Okay, there we go. Well, I think we're on to something, guys. Look at all these doors we can open now. Is this... In one of Bobby's reels, they said that they, uh... They closed the hotel and turned it into a hospital. And they took care of sick people. I don't know why, and I can't get close enough to see the name on the bed... Actually, that that looks like the same picture. I think they just had the same woman in every room, and each night she stayed in a different place. I mean, don't ask me. They're a cult, you know? They're not known for their great reasoning. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that someone different? That might be someone different. I can't really tell. Let's wander around with this. Maybe there's uh, ghostly answers. I mean, this game has been all about ghosts. No, I'm going to maintain. That looks like the same picture over and over. So, but on the other hand, we cannot pass any of these up because sometimes there's just a big old switch that you've walked past like 50 times waiting to give you answers. Or maybe there's something hiding behind the door. No, sorry. Like I said, too many horror movies running through my head. But we're finally making progress, albeit weird, jaggy progress. God, this place goes on forever. And I'd really like to be able to skip one of these rooms, but... Because <laughs> they all seem to be the same, and none of them have anything for me. But I know that the one time I skip a room is going to be the one with the solution for a puzzle. Come on now. 
Give me some answers. Hello. I'm gonna take a nap, actually. Just lie down. Think about all this. Okay. Well, there you have it. Bunch of empty rooms. Nothing inside. This must be the kitchen where they prepared the meals. Four, eight, twelve people. Enough to seat twelve people. Hey, Bob Marley, one last time. For good luck. Please don't tell me that I just get one jagged thing. So why couldn't I open this? Why did this only open one way? There was nothing blocking me on the other side. This is... I could have been so much further. Oh, there's that weird looking thingy. Alright. Alright. Just... <gasps> Hi. I... Oh god, should I go in there? All my instincts say... It's an elevator. Nice. So there we did. We got up to the second floor without having to shoot out any windows. Let's open all the doors. Let's celebrate. Oh, let's just sit for a second. Sip on our beer and think about what we worked on. Ooh, that seems interesting. Go forward, beer. Or person with beer. Eh, eh. A little to the left. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. Hello, Yale. This is Bobby. The code to my bedroom is written on your day chart. You must learn the code before the chart is archived. Visit me at night when the siblings are asleep. I'll be waiting for you. That was Bobby speaking to Jill, who uh, he referred to as his girlfriend. He was in love with her, but my god. <laughs> Seems like she's everywhere. Jill, 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 and the archive. Ooh, that's right. That's just an elevator. But I don't like the way it sneaks up on me. To be honest with you. So we don't have the code yet. We have to, I guess, get into the archive, find her day chart. Thank God they made this easy for us. Okay. Oh, and maybe we need that thing in order to ride the elevator back down. But that's okay. I mean, we have a lot of leads. Like I said, that's a whole lot of cursive to investigate out there. I see, yes. And then somewhere around there, I have to find the number three card. Which will allow me to get up to that top, top floor. Oh, I see. We gotta figure out uh, <laughs> did he just throw it away? Like, that's not Jill. You know, they all kind of looked like Jill. So Jill was a patient here that he was supposed to be watching, and he... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was a weird face. He fell in love with her and tried to help her escape and was caught and killed for it. No, you're not Jill either. But all right, at least there's now a purpose for being in here. Um, Jill? No, you're certainly not Jill, sir. Well, maybe I shouldn't be so quick to judge. You're not a Jill. This place is a total sausage fest. I can't find like a single Jill in here. You're Natasha. Natasha. Come here. You're... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I pick that up again? I can't. But that guy's name was Abdullah or something. That uh, These are the people... The names of every level have had like these weird names that I couldn't find anyone else for. They are people that were in the There's hospital no maybe being here. tested here? Must be somewhere in the archive. Okay, so now I have Jill. Look, can I find one more to just kind of test this hypothesis? No, they're like, you're done. But I saw it. I swear it all makes sense now. 
I was like, why do they have all these weird names? These were patients being kept in the hospital and, I don't know, maybe being groomed to be vessels for Silvio. I don't know if Silvio shows up in people's bodies or not. Uh, but when you are called the Crimson Mist inside my skin, I kind of think that you go into bodies. God, this elevator is so instantaneous. <laughs> I can't even keep up. Alright, so now I have this. I use Jill's chart. And that gives me the passcode for the bedroom. And... I used it. Bobby! It's me. Wow. Bobby didn't sleep by himself. <laughs> Bobby had lots of friends. This goes all the way up to the fourth floor. So what's on it? And only three sinks? I mean, I'm still, one, two, three, four, five, is a lot, a lot. I don't feel like saying here and counting, but it would take everyone a lot of time to all brush their teeth. Which is still very important. Cleanliness is next to ungodly. Just ask Silvio. Here we go, fourth floor. We made it to the top, people. We have nothing else to worry about. This is not going to be a problem. What is that? It, oh, do I, is it to let me know to step down? Is that how I get up to the third floor? Take one last real good look around before you jump down, because you're going to feel really stupid if you got to come all the way back up here. What the hell is coming out of here? It's got like a fog machine in here? Hey, guys, what's going on? Ah, can I, can I shoot a something? Oh, no, I can come in here. No, quick, open the door. It's all gassy in here. Close that door again. You can't be breathing that in. It's not good for you. It's what killed all the birds. And this is a room full of briefcases. Good. I, look, I have a briefcase, too. We can check out our luggage together. Okay, go away now. I've had enough of you. No, go away. Just take out the gun again. I feel, even when there's no enemies, I feel more secure with a gun. Alright. Oh, here. A switch. And a TV. Oh my god, that's the hatch in the basement. Alright, alright. Here we go. This is it, guys. Smash Bob Marley's picture one more time, just for good luck. Let's put in this elevator key card and take this instantaneous transport. Right. Looks like this was a reception area once upon a time. Yes, yes it do. Uh, thank goodness for this room. <laughs> it's just a red herring at the end. Uh, I guess, what, is that a symbol of the cult or something? Or just like a... It looks kind of like a mouse with like a really long leg and a very like mutated body. I don't know. Or like a hippo with a super long bottom jaw. What do you see? I don't know. You tell me. Let's see if our craziness is compatible. All right. So we made it down. Come on now. Uh, here we go. This will take us back down. Oh, shit. Let's see. Oh my god, here we go, guys. One last sip of beer for courage. Sun has gotten so very tiny. Oh, 7 a.m. Jill Edwards. Yes, that's his girlfriend, the one he was in love with, and a patient in the hospital. So, okay, my. <sighs> it took me 20 long episodes, but I'm not an idiot. I apparently know what I'm talking about. I, I imagine we're going down, right? It's going up. Doesn't make sense. Hi. What's going on in here? This place is full of crimson mist. I can barely breathe. It just everything tastes like cherry starburst. 
pixie sticks. I can't see anything. music off in the distance our entire journey was taking us to this the tunnel beneath the Saganawa pesticide company pipes run through carrying out the essence of Silvio Jill holy sh don't turn that on it sounds terrifying right now Jill Oh my god. It's a lady with a boulder for a head. What is good? Did they crush her? What is... Don't finger the dead body, man. Ah! Oh my god. Back in the forest for an ET segment. Please tell me I don't have to fight her. <laughs> or was it just that she was suffering and maybe I alleviated her suffering by removing the boulder from her head? She was just waiting all this time for someone to come and move that giant rock that was crushing her face? Okay. All right. If you keep panning out, who knows where we're going to end up. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, that's the ending. We are flying backwards out of a forest. Jill scared... Apparently so. Man, you better have something at the end of this. Juliet. That's who we've been this entire time. Juliet Waters. Somehow I didn't know that. Okay, so... I mean, I have to assume... That for one thing... Maybe I missed something. There was one reel that I missed. But I'm going to conclude that... We freed the spirit of Jill who was captured and tormented there and maybe Bobby was steering us to this it's he was she was the only one Bobby cared about so much so that he ended up losing his life to try and save her oh god look at that it's a room with a piano and all those piano sheets we've been collecting but let me guess since they're not finished is that gonna is that gonna screw with us somehow I don't think I've... Okay. Yes, those are many incomplete piano sheets. But you're not going to hold that against me, right? 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 Buttons? Movement? To enter? You move around? Okay, this is not helpful. <laughs> Alright, I get it. I didn't get all the piano sheets, but are you just going to make me sit here and like look at the piano? Is that my punishment? Am I never... There you go. <laughs> well, guys, I'm not going to say I found everything in the game. There may be more to it, but it's been an interesting ride. Uh, the game, frustrating at times, puzzles that didn't always make sense, but there is the suggestion of a story that they did with pacing and with uh, very timed delivery that kept me interested in the mystery and hopefully kept you interested too. It's not perfect, but uh, it was definitely definitely worth checking out. Uh, I enjoyed playing it. Uh, there's a note from the creator here I've been looking at. He's currently working on Silvio 2. If you guys are interested, I'm definitely down to play it. If you want to support him, the information is there. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me for the final episode of Silvio. It's been a crazy, strange journey. Uh, and 
I had a good time. I hope you did too. So, guys, we're going to see what game we're going to play next, and uh, I'll see you then.